Hello friends, welcome to Textile Cell. In this video, we will see how you can test some basic electronics component with this low cost multimeter. You have to pay only 2 to 3 dollars or I have paid only 200 rupees to purchase this multimeter which is really cheap. But you can do lot of things with this multimeter which you will see during the video. And we will also discuss as a beginner you should buy this low cost meter or you should go for this 20 dollar multimeter. And I will also share some tips to measure the electronics component accurately with this low cost multimeter. So I highly recommend you to watch complete video to get complete idea how to test this component accurately with this low cost multimeter. So let's get started. Now before testing this electronics component with this multimeter, let's understand some basic features of this multimeter. We can measure voltage both DC and AC voltage. We can measure the current, DC current. We can test or measure resistor up to 2000 kilo ohm or 2 mega ohm. We can test diode and continuity. And we can also measure or test transistor gain with this multimeter and it can also generate a square wave pulse as you can see now here you can see there are three socket this is a common socket so we have to put the black lid in this socket and this socket is for testing voltage resistance and small amount of current in milliampere range so if i want to measure the current in milliampere range then i can put the red wire in this socket but to measure the current in ampere range up to 10 ampere i have to put this red lead to this 10 ampere max socket so to measure the current in ampere range i have to put the red lead here but to measure the current in milliampere range and voltage and ohm I have to put this red lead in this socket. First we will measure the voltage across this 9 volt battery. You can see this is a positive terminal of the battery and this is a negative terminal of the battery. So to measure the voltage across this battery first I have to turn on the multimeter and select the voltage range. This is not a auto range multimeter so you have to select the range before the measurement for the auto select multimeter you can directly select the dc voltage and you can measure the voltage but for this multimeter you have to select the range before the measurement as i am going to measure the 9 volt battery so i have selected the range 20 now i have to connect the red lead with the positive terminal of the battery and black lead with the negative terminal of the battery and you can see it's showing 9.3 volt so it's showing the accurate reading now after testing the dc voltage now we will test the ac voltage for that i am selecting this ac voltage and i have selected 750 voltage range so in the screen you can see it's showing high voltage now i will test the ac voltage just by connecting these two terminal across the main supply and it's showing the reading 242 which is also accurate you can see thus we can measure the ac voltage for measuring the voltage under 200 like 110 you have to select this range in the multimeter as in my country the supply voltage is 240 volt so i have selected this 750 range now we'll measure these two register. This is a 1 ohm register and this is a 1 mega ohm register. So we'll see how to measure these two register accurately with this digital multimeter. First to measure the register, you have to connect the red lead with the voltage and ohm port. So I am connecting the red lead with the voltage and ohm port as you can see. Then you have to select the ohm scale so you can see i have selected 200 ohm range in this ohm scale as this is a not a auto select multimeter you have to select the range before measurement but for auto select multimeter you can directly select the ohm scale 
so first i have selected the 200 ohm scale and i will measure this one ohm register now as the resistance value of this register is very low so to measure the resistance value accurately we have to keep some point in mind so as i have selected the 200 ohm scale in the multimeter so before measuring this register first i have to measure the lead resistance by connecting these two lead in this manner and you can see in the multimeter it's showing me 0.5 ohm so let me write down the lead resistance i am getting the lead resistance 0.5 ohm now we will measure this resistance you can see i have to connect the resistance across these two lead and after some time showing 1.5 ohm as you can see in the multimeter so i am getting the reading 1.5 ohm now after getting these two value i have to subtract this lead resistance from this reading so if i subtract 0.5 from 1.5 I will get exact 1 ohm which is the nominal value for this register so here you can see I am getting very accurate resistance value with this multimeter now we will measure this 1 mega ohm register which is very high value of resistance and we will measure this register accurately with this multimeter for that I have to select the higher range but I will not change the range to show you what will happen if I select low range while measuring high value of resistance so let me connect this register across the lead and you can see it's showing 1 in the reading which indicate it's showing over limit so I have to select the range now I have selected the 200 kilo ohm range still I will get the over limit as the range should be in mega ohm you can see still it's showing one so now i am selecting 2000 kilo ohm range which is two mega ohm range now i can measure this one mega ohm register so whenever you see one you have to increase the range now to measure this high value of resistance accurately you have to hold the resistance in this manner you can see I am holding the resistance with one hand and I am connecting the lead on the other terminal of the resistance in this manner while measuring it and you can see in the reading I am getting 1000 kilo ohm which is very accurate and which is equal to 1 mega ohm as I have selected 200 kilo ohm range so the reading is showing in kilo ohm range but if I hold this resistance with both hand and measure it you can see I am not getting the accurate reading as I am connecting my body in parallel with the register so to measure the high value resistance you should always hold the resistance with one hand and connect the lead on the other hand in this manner thus you will get the accurate reading while measuring the high value of resistance now we will test the diode and LED with this multimeter for that I have to select the diode symbol you can see this is a diode symbol and for this diode you can see this is a band so this is the cathode and this is the anode looking at this band we can easily identify which one is anode and which one is cathode you have to connect the red lead with anode of the diode and black lead with the cathode of the diode and after that you should get the reading in the multimeter but if I reverse the terminal connecting black lead with anode and red lead with cathode I should not get any reading in the multimeter you can see it's showing over limit in the multimeter which indicate this diode is okay we should only get the reading by connecting the red lead with anode and black lead with cathode we should not get any reading by connecting black lead with anode and red lead with cathode for a good diode thus we can test the diode in a similar manner we can also measure the led but first i have to identify the anode and the cathode of the led you can see this is a flat portion so the terminal close to the flat portion 
is cathode and this terminal is anode and you can see this is a longer lead which is anode and this is a shorter lead which is cathode so after identifying the terminal I have to connect the multimeter accordingly I have to connect the red lead with anode you can see and black lead with cathode and after connecting that if the LED is glowing then this LED is ok you can see the LED is glowing after connecting the red lead with anode and black lead with cathode thus we can test the LED also with this multimeter now we will measure the gain of a transistor with this multimeter for that I have to select this HFE mode as you can see now I will use these two transistor this is a BC547 NPN transistor and looking at the terminal I can say this is a collector middle is a base and this terminal is a emitter so I have to connect the transistor at the NPN side as this is a NPN transistor and I have to connect the terminal accordingly you can see E for emitter B for base and C for collector so if I connect the transistor according to the correct terminal of the NPN side I should get the gain reading there is some loose connection and you can see the gain reading is 4 to 8 but if I connect this NPN transistor with a wrong socket you can see I should not get the gain value I should get over limit or zero with this trick you can also identify the collector base emitter terminal of a transistor so now I will measure the gain of this PNP transistor here I am using BC557 so I have to connect the transistor with this PNP side and you can see for this transistor this one is collector this one is base and this terminal is emitter so I have to connect the transistor accordingly so if I connect the transistor in right manner you can see I am getting the gain value which is 281 but again if I connect with the wrong terminal I should get 0 or over limit as you can see so thus we can measure the gain or beta of a transistor with this multimeter now we will measure the DC current with this multimeter here you can see A is written which indicate ampere let me select the ampere range I have selected 200 milliampere range and here you can see it is mentioned up to 500 milliampere I don't have to remove this red lead and above 500 milliampere range I have to connect this red lead with this 10 ampere port as my measurement will be under 500 milliampere so I am not removing this red lead from this port now in this small diagram you can see we will apply 10 volt DC and there will be a resistance 100 ohm so if we measure the current through this circuit then with the simple formula V equal to IR we will get the result so in this case V is 10 volt and R is 100 ohm so we should get 0.1 ampere or 100 milliampere so this will be the current reading in the multimeter and we will connect the red lead of the multimeter at this point and black lead at this point so here you can see this is the resistance you can see this is a 100 ohm resistance now I will connect this 10 volt DC power supply across the register so first I will connect the ground terminal with the register and the 10 volt positive terminal with the red lead of the multimeter and another black lead of the multimeter will be connected with the register as you can see now you can see the reading is very accurate I am getting exact 100 milliampere or 99 milliampere in the multimeter so you can see the DC current reading is also very accurate now if I want to measure the reading in the ampere scale 
then I have to remove the red lead from this port and connect it with the 10 ampere port and I have to select the 10 ampere in this ampere range now if I want to measure the current through the same circuit I will get the reading in the ampere scale and you can see it's showing 0 0.09 ampere which is very close to 0 0.1 ampere so again I am getting very accurate reading with this multimeter thus you can measure the DC current with this multimeter but you cannot measure the AC current with this multimeter so we have discussed all the features of this multimeter we have seen how to measure the resistance accurately testing voltage current and diode and we have also seen how to measure the gain or beta of a transistor as you can get this multimeter just under three dollar or i have paid only 200 rupees but if you want to measure the capacitor or more accurate reading like rms voltage ac current then you should go for this multimeter which cost around 20 dollar but as a beginner i think this multimeter is good to go you can easily buy it and test the basic component accurately with this multimeter so i'll request you to share your feedback in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day